Hello and welcome to another unit spotlight. Today we are going to be looking at guards and other types of professional units. Please note that this is all a work in progress and subject to change. Also, I'm probably going to be butchering a couple of pronunciations here. Professional units are high quality troops that can afford the best equipment. Their occupation is fighting first and foremost, unlike say, aristocratic units like knights or slaves like mamluks. Let's take a look at some notable examples of this unit type and how they can make the gameplay interesting in the mod. First up, the infamous Varangian Guard and his later to your counterparts. The Varangians are among the best two-handed axemen in the mod, hailing from, from Kiev and, and Scandinavia, and are a great alternative choice for your emperor to fight with on the battlefield. Their unit size is huge at 200 men but you can only have one type of this unit. The fame this guard had in Europe led to a rising Venice to make its own guard unit. Inspired by both the Varangians and the Praetorian Guard of old, Venice has the Excusati Guard, an elite spear unit that also can be recruitable in tier 2. Venice is one of the few factions that has a spear unit this elite and heavy. Genoa has its own guard units, the Ducal Guard, which are a pole arm unit that is also well shielded. Genoa's Pavis crossbowmen became among the most famous in Italy, and as such can be recruited as a mercenary unit as well as by Genoa itself. Italy has a whole slew of units that fall under this, various cities having their own infamous gunners or crossbows or individual stuff. Bologna in particular, which is another playable faction that's going to be made down the line, will have a unique tier 2 handgun unit. Based off an account of Bologna's gunners causing so much death, once they were captured at the end of the battle, they were all executed. Italy will also have a sub roster of Condotta units that are more professional counterparts of many Italian units. The various Almogarva units became famous throughout Europe, like the Catalan Company, or just other Almogarva units to get as Aragon. Russian Europe gets units like this too in its later tiers. A tier 1 example though would be the Welsh Longbowmen, a medieval 2 favorite for a reason. England will also have access to two units based off the Yeoman of the Guard, a Billman version and a Longbow version, barely making it into this mod's time frame. They are an extremely uniform and a skilled force to deal with. France has the Scots Guard, linked to look closer to its actual appearance. Sorry medieval 2 fans. We will be splitting this unit again into a light spear unit and a bow unit. Right now the spear part is a the close combat thing for the, for the bow unit, and it's better if we split them. Burgundy, the Swiss Cantons, Lorraine, and Hungary have later tiers that are very much in the spirit of more professional armies. Even the East gets certain units that can qualify as this. The Kwamashah Mercenary Guard is a heavy cavalry unit and bodyguard choice for the Carvazanian Empire in Tier 1. These guys are actually amongst the heaviest shock cavalry in the mod in Tier 1, with the horses having bit as heavy armor and lamellar. Whether they comprise whole tiers, singular units, or capable soldiers for, for hire, professional units are expensive but capable units that can help you lead your faction to glory and dominance in the mod. That's all for this week. This is Warman, signing off.